The season 2 finale of The Mandalorian left us with a lot of questions as well as answers. One of the questions we'll be addressing in this video concerning the Darksaber. Before we get into it though, there will be spoilers for the season 2 finale of The Mandalorian, so if you have not watched it yet, please go do so before watching this video, as this is integral to exactly what happened in the season finale as well as a major plot point moving forward in The Mandalorian. With our spoiler warning out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. In the episode, Moff Gideon is defeated in one-on-one -on -one combat by Din Djarin. Afterwards, Gideon explains to Din Djarin, as well as Bo-Katan, that Din is now the rightful owner of the Darksaber, because of the fact that he defeated its previous owner in combat, explaining that it's the story of the Darksaber that gives it such power, and the right to rule all of Mandalore. As a brief reminder, the reason the Darksaber is so significant is it was constructed by the first ever Mandalorian to be inducted into the Jedi Order, and holds unique properties unlike any other lightsaber before it. It was with this lightsaber that the Jedi Mandalorian Tar Vizsla united all of Mandalore under his cause. Therefore, all those that hold the Darksaber after that hold extreme importance, and are denoted as the ruler of Mandalore by other clans. Importantly, due to Mandalorian culture, the Darksaber can only be won in one-on-one -on -one combat, which is why in the Clone Wars, once Maul defeated pre Vizsla in one-on-one -on -one combat, he claimed the Darksaber and was then denoted as the ruler of Mandalore. In the episode, Din Djarin attempts to simply give Bo-Katan the Darksaber. However, she is unable to accept it. This does create an interesting question, however, as at the finale of Star Wars Rebels, or in the final season of Rebels rather, Bo-Katan did actually accept the lightsaber from Sabine Wren, and did not have to fight Sabine in one-on-one -on -one combat in order to earn the Darksaber. So why is it the case now that she would have to fight Din Djarin for claim over the Darksaber, when previously she just accepted it from Sabine? The answer is actually quite compelling. The Mandalorian culture is all about honor. It's important to note that when Sabine wielded the Darksaber, she too did not win it in one-on-one -on -one combat against Maul. Rather, the lightsaber was stolen from Maul's lair on Dathomir and simply given to Sabine through birthright, meaning Sabine herself was not the rightful ruler, simply that she wielded the Darksaber. Importantly though, once Sabine gave Bo-Katan the Darksaber, the clans of Mandalore agreed with her rule, as this is when we last saw her in Star Wars Rebels, with Bo-Katan being denoted as Mandalore and its leader. The reason at the time that Bo-Katan was accepted as the leader of all of the clans without fighting in single combat against the Darksaber's true owner was likely because of her long fight against the Empire. Bo-Katan's honor was still likely fully intact, and it was because of her unwillingness to submit to the Empire that she was deemed ruler and worthy of the Darksaber. However, following this, the Imperials would sack Mandalore, scorching its surface, turning it to glass in a night known as the Night of a Thousand Tears, an event that we have yet to see in Star Wars. It is here that Moff Gideon and somehow took the Darksaber from Bo-Katan, and therefore, her rule has been disputed. She failed initially as the ruler of Mandalore, which is why the second time she cannot simply be gifted the Darksaber and gifted the role as ruler, even if Din Djarin does not want the Darksaber for his own. If Bo were to accept the Darksaber again, she would be known as the ruler of Mandalore that never won the blade truthfully. She was the previous owner and guardian of the blade and lost it. This is all paving the way for the future confrontations between Din Djarin and Bo-Katan. Bo must actually win the Darksaber from Din if she wants to be the ruler of Mandalore. However, I'm not sure the story will go that way. Bo could prove to be an antagonist for Din for a time, perhaps a season or two, wanting to claim the Darksaber. She's likely disgraced that Din is a foundling and an orphan of her own culture, where she was born and bred into it. A Mandalorian for generations, and this foundling is now in possession of its most ancient and sacred weapon. It could potentially drive her overboard. Likely in the end though, I do think Bo-Katan will accept Din Djarin as the leader of Mandalore, even if he doesn't truly want to be, and that this is where the story of the Mandalorian is headed, with Din being the new Mandalore. Whether or not he knows it, Din is now the rightful ruler of Mandalore because he possesses the Darksaber, the weapon that denotes him as the ruler of Mandalore. And just as Mandalorians chose to follow Maul because of this ancient tradition, many would likely follow Din Djarin because of the simple fact that he is now the guardian of the Darksaber. Anyway, that is why Bo-Katan managed to accept the Darksaber from Sabine Wren when she could not accept it from Din Djarin, just as Moff Gideon had planned, to create confrontation and strife between the Mandalorians that will inevitably be paid off in a later season. Anyway though my friends, what are your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on Din Djarin now being the rightful owner of the Darksaber, and essentially Mandalore? How do you think Bo will react to this later down the line? And what are your thoughts on the explanation of why Bo-Katan could accept the Darksaber from Sabine Wren? 
Ren, but not from Din Djarin. Because of the holiday season approaching, there's a big sale on the Star Wars merch page, where you can get items up to half off. So if you see anything you may like as a Christmas present, or just like for yourself, be sure to pick it up now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it deserves it, it would really help me out if you could force push or force choke that like button. As always, my friends, may the force be with you and have a great day.